Hi, welcome to Tech Talk. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own online slideshow using a web-based application called Slider Roll. In order to use this application, you need to visit their website at www.sliderroll.com and open an account. And you can see right now that we are at their home page in my account. And now I'm going to demonstrate to you how to develop your online slideshow in a flash format that you can uh, import into your website or you can just have available to email to individuals that you want to share it with or you can post it on the slider uh, roll website. So here we are at the home page and to create my new slideshow I'm going to go to slideshow creator and I'm going to launch the creator and um, I already have photos uploaded but if you were going to upload photos you would press the upload photo button and at this point you would identify the folder on the uh, computer from which you're working to select images to upload and it would uh, go like this. You'd hit the browse button. This is my desktop. If I had a f uh, folder of photos right here I would select them. Uh, shows me that I did not select any photos. So I'm going to go to the bottom here. I'm going to add slides and right now it's uh, loading some of the slides that I already have on uh, the slider roll account. I'm going to go to the next page where I have some fruits and vegetables and uh, basically I'm going to take these slides and I'm dragging them and dropping them into the slide view area of my creator just putting them anywhere at this point and I think that's enough. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do um, is take my slides from the slide area and I'm going to drag them over to my timeline. And this is the uh, timeline that is actually um, it represents how your photos will be viewed in your uh, slide presentation. So I'm just going to drop them over and if you notice I'm dropping them onto each other instead of dropping them next to each other I'm dropping them onto each other and the reason I'm doing that is because then it will uh, allow a smooth transition from one image to the next. If I dropped them on where they weren't touching like this then there would be a black space between the images but as I drop them on uh, overlapping each other there will be um, a fade in and out of each image. Okay I have my images um, so at this point you can go ahead and preview and I have a pop-up blocker so I'm going to go play it again and this basically um, gives a preview of my slides. Keep in mind these aren't really high quality images so um, the quality of your image will, will greatly affect how they will be displayed. Okay I'm going to X out of here and um, I'm going to add some music to my slideshow so I'm going to press the add music button and I'm going to listen
and I added Jupiter Moon. So at this point I'm going to preview it again. Looks good. So um, I there are some other things that you can do, but because this is just a sh brief demonstration, we're not going to go into those. So basically, I took slides that I had uploaded, I entered them into my slide area, I dragged them over to my time frame, um, and then I added some music. Now I'm going to go ahead and publish. First I have to save. And put a title. I'm going to title this Tech. Oops. And my file has successfully saved. Great. Now I'm going to go ahead and publish. And um, I'm, this is an area where you can uh, modify some of the settings of your slideshow. Um, I am going to keep the slideshow private when I publish it because if I don't keep it private it will be available for view on the slider roll website which is fine but that's not the objective of this presentation so I'm going to keep it private I'm going to leave it on autoplay. I'm not going to choose the loop. If I did, it would just continually play. Uh, I will. Uh, we didn't add any captions, so I won't put display captions or overlay captions. Now I'm going to publish. And there we have our slideshow. Now if I wanted to go ahead and download the slideshow, I would select this option. If I wanted to get a link or get a code so I could uh, embed it into a web page, I would do that here. Uh, you can do then the cut and paste. Or if I want to email it to my friends, I would uh, do that here. So there you have it. A quick and dirty review of using Slider World to develop your own flash based slideshow. Thank you for visiting with me today at Tech Talk.